EY Strategic Growth Forum really is about growth. The 663 Entrepreneur of the Year companies represent $197 billion in revenue. So here to talk about how these companies are really accelerating past our competition, I'm joined by Herb Engert, EY America's Strategic Growth Markets Leader, Joy Taylor, Founder and CEO of Tegan Point Solutions, and Jim Nixon, CEO of Varel International Energy Services. Funding, transactions, risk, how do companies yep. assess this? How, how do they self-assess and understand what these are so that they yep. can use them as accelerators? You know, well, you know, I think all of those, you know, funding and finance can somewhat go together, but mm -hmm. I, um, but you know, risk plays a big part in that too. I, I think it comes back to strategy, right? So, it kind of depends on where you want to take the organization. So, if you do, um, you know, if you do decide that you actually need to do an acquisition um, for, uh, you know, a competitive advantage, you know, I think you got to really go into it, understanding the totality of the transaction, how it's going to impact your organization. Mm -hmm. Jim knows that better than anyone. But, you know, I mean, you really have to evaluate it um, comprehensively, and that's what we try to do. But, and that's what some of the model would tell you, too. I mean, you really got to understand it. Before you, uh, you know, before you get married, you really got to understand the consequences of, sure, sure. of the marriage. Mm -hmm. um, you know, funding and, you know, not taking, uh, you know, I always tell, we talk about this a lot, you know, you want to take outside capital, but you want to take the right outside capital. You just don't take capital and take capital. You got to take capital with a with strategic purpose. Like, who, you, who, who are you getting with that capital, right? And what type of advice and, and the like. So I think that that's, you know, some of the critical aspects that are there, but I'm getting a lot of head nods here. And I know these two have dealt with it. So I don't know if they got others they well, want to so add. Joy, I mean, jump in on that, well, and, on, I, I on that idea opinion, of the marriage. A very strong opinion on the concept of the yeah. risk. So <laughs> the factor of risk in the, the growth drivers are a big topic to me because in order to uh, prepare yourself for the things that will go wrong, yep. it's not that you don't expect them to go wrong, it is how you respond to the things that go mm. wrong. Yep. And if you can simply identify what might happen and have a plan for if it does happen so that you can look good. I mean, it's a, it's a PR game sometimes. And you don't ever want to take out all aspects of risk because, you know, mm -hmm. if you're too cautious, you know, then, then you no, won't no. get a deal done. Right? Well, so, there won't be any acceleration, right? Yeah, I mean, so I, I think that uh, someone told me that at one point, you know, it's like, look, we don't want to take out all risk here. We got to get this deal done. But, you know, it gets, I guess, to Joyce's point, it's really managing that risk and understanding. So. It's not any capital that we need to access, it's the right capital. Yeah. Uh, and there's, a lot, there's a lot of pitfalls around that that it's important people understand. Um, uh, and having properly evaluated the risks and determined, as Joy has said, what can go wrong in planning for them, we always take the approach that we hope this is going to be good, but we're going to plan for the worst and make sure we have a plan to back up anything that does go wrong from a, a capital perspective going forward. Well, thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.